Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Uh, what I have for you today is, I, I doubt you can recognize that because the lights aren't right in here. But this is a Nerd, Nerd Miner version 2. This one I'm holding in my hand is from China. Okay? And it's got a case on it. And this one here comes from Amazon, okay? The, they are the exact, exact same thing, okay? They are the exact same thing. The big difference is, is the bin file to get the Nerd Miner version 2 to work on here is not available anywhere that I could find, okay? I'm going to show you here in a minute GitHub and this is a ESP3228 34SO something or, or other okay or other words um, also they have it listed as a W room okay I'm going to show you that too now the problem being is, is um, this is $30 plus four weeks to get it to the United States, to my address from China. But it works perfectly. It does work. It's mining, okay, on the Nerd Miner version 2 bin. That's the bin file. This took me one day to get it, and it's $10 cheaper than the China one. But you cannot find a bin file for this through GitHub. All right, so what I did is I took my Chinese one, completely defaulted it, I extracted the bin file out of it, and uploaded it to the Amazon one, and bingo, works perfectly. Again, the you won't be able to find the bin file. If you get this from Amazon, you won't be able to find the bin file to get nerd minor version 2 to work you it'll it'll light up and it'll say nerd minor version 2 blah 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 but you'll never be able to put it on your network because it's something in the SSID or some crap but I, I, I don't want to get into that but again guys if you if you buy one of these from Amazon you will not be able to get it to work from the bin files on on github all right let me switch over and uh, explain a little bit more on a couple of websites and then uh, maybe you guys can can get it from there I, I'm, I'm pretty bad at explaining this but I'm gonna show you in practicality that um, it will work so let me switch all right so I want to go here first this is the one I bought from China 2136 plus 569 it says yes yeah, September 23rd yeah don't even believe that just put down four weeks it'll show up all right this is the one I bought it cost me like thirty dollars this is also the one I bought from Amazon gets here in one day all right and it's the same thing ESP W room or the 2432 S028 R all right if you go back here, um, let's look down here. Let's see if it gives you any information on this. Right there, same exact thing, R. But if you look at the back of um, this one here that you get from AliExpress, and you also look at the back, right? See this picture right here? It says... ESP3224 32SO28. It's not the R. Alright? So they are they they they're 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 they're, they're playing a little joke on you because it is not the R. I don't know what the R stands for, but it's not the R. And all of these the bin files from GitHub will not work on this board to get the nerd minor version 2 to work it in all practicality it'll show up nerd minor 2 and you think you're getting getting all set up and then you find out you can't get it onto your network um, but again I'm going to show you how to do it I'm going to leave you the 
um, all the files and everything else you need down below in this video so that if you do go and buy one of these from Amazon you'll be able to get the uh, nerd miner version 2 to work on your uh, on the uh, one you get from github so um, without further ado I'm just gonna get right into this and uh, show you how show you how to do it all right so let me just go back here for a quick a quick moment so you got one of these in hand so the first thing you want to do is plug it in your computer will go doo -doo 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 -doo. and then you want to go to device manager you want to find out what com port this is on all right once you find out what com port is on you go down and you go to my link um it'll say something like i can't remember um, how to how to upload to ESP th what well, anyways you'll see it in the link down below um, and then you're going to modify the file to correspond with whatever com port that your um, ESP32 is on okay so let me just I'm going to I'm going to disconnect this one Doo -doo -doo. then I'm going to connect up the one and one program comes up blank um, if you do get this one from Amazon it's gonna come up with some kind of desktop type thing just ignore that all right so we went doo -doo -doo -doo. so now I'm gonna go back to my desktop and we're gonna go to device manager it's right here I've had it open before so it's already there we're gonna go com ports it's on 22 and if you want to make sure, what I'm going to do is I'm going to power it off. All right, so now all the COM port things are going. I'm going to power it back up. <clears throat> and there it is, 22 shows up again. So remember, 22. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to open up a command prompt. Command prompt. Now, when you upload there's going to be two files down below that you want to upload one is the um, basically the how to upload the ESP32 bin file and then the other file you're going to have in there is the actual bin file okay so there'll be two links down below one for the how to and one is going to be the bin file that you're going to upload so now I uploaded both of my files to the D drive so I would go D semicolon enter. Now I want to go to my D drive files. So I'll go um, D drive. Then I want to go to how to flash ESP32 board. Double click. Then now remember my, um, my ESP32 was on COM22. So right here, all right, where it says to flash the ESP32 nerdminer 2bin file uh, to your ESP32, you go and you change the COM port to whatever COM port yours came up on. Mine came up on 22. That doesn't necessarily mean yours is going to come up on 22. And then leave everything else alone. And you want to copy all the way up to right at the E where it says ESP tool. All right. Don't copy that little thing because it's already um, it's already on the command prompt. And you want to right click, copy. Now you want to lower these two um, those two uh, things down, and then you just want to go right click, and it automatically pastes it into the command prompt for you. Then all you do is you hit enter. And it connects to your ESP32, and it is now downloading. Okay, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you this. Well, maybe I will. I wish I could have a double screen, because as soon as this gets done downloading or uploading, um, it'll say um, hard something pin to escape or something like that, and then all of a sudden your um, ESP32 will light up. All right, da, 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 da. So it said now it's going to be it's going to be resetting. 
All right, and I just want to show you down here that. Okay, uh, let's see. Man, I wish that would. I wish I could change this so you can see that. But anyways, right here at the, on the blue, it says waiting for configuration, and then below it says the Wi-Fi SSID and the password for it. Uh, the Wi-Fi SSID is NerdMiner AP. All right, so. Now the next thing you do is I want to I'm just going to get this back up here. Um, I'm going to go back to my desktop. So the next thing you want to do is close close out. Oh wait a minute! See this right here? It says uh, hash data verified leaving hard resetting via the RT RTS pin, and then it goes back. So it, it uploaded that whole file for you. So now you can just X out. Now you go to your Wi-Fi. Click on it. And nerd miner shows up so double click on it and then say connect now it'll automatically bring you into the configuration um, menu okay so let's just wait all right we're at the Wi-Fi manager for your nerd miner that you just uploaded you hit configure now wait it takes a while because these things are very low powered don't mind that. Just sit here and wait. Okay. The SSID, mine is Bunny Balls. Bunny Balls 2. My password is, um, hang on a second. My password is, uh oh. I don't want that. Get out of there. I hit another key by accident. Password. Hmm. Okay, so that's whatever that's whatever password your SSID is. Okay, then down here you want your Bitcoin address, and mine is right here. Uh, copy. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my address, guys. If you want to, uh, if you want to send me some money, just send it to that address. There's my Bitcoin address, and then you can set your time zone if you want. And then uh, I just. Check that little hash mark there and hit save. Now, what I want to do is I want to come back because I want you guys to watch. Because as soon as this gets done um, uploading, it'll start. Yep, there it is. It's starting to hash out already. Uh, right at 54, something, whatever. Hey, it works better that way. I have to remember that. So now, here it is. This is the one from Amazon. And it is now hashing away for the one in one trillion chance of you hitting a block and making $58,000. So that's why they call that. These are the lottery machines for Bitcoin. So you just sit there and just let this thing run forever. Um, it's very low powered. It's not going to use my power at all. All right, and now how you, how you make sure that this is working is you go to, um, I don't know if you guys were watching, uh, let's see, now, this you can close out, it goes to, <clears throat> right now the pool is called Public Pool I.O. Oh, wait a minute, I got to... I got to go over here and I have to see right now this is your ESP it's the uh, 23A579 remember that I got to go back to my bunny balls oh boom ba, 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 ba. and you want to go publicpool.io go right here and put in your um, your bitcoin address and say my workers All right and hang on a second it takes a second or two for this to um, uh, start hashing so let's give it a second do ba do ba do do let's give this a little round of applause here and there it is that's the second one coming in 
Um, let me let me unplug my other one. Okay, because I had another one over there hashing. I, I can't. These numbers always mystify me. What if it's um, if it's there? Yeah, it's not even here now. It's gone now. It only stays there for a second or two. Let me just refresh. Come on. But anyways, this is this shows you that your machine is hashing. Bum ba ba ba. Let me just refresh again so it goes down to one. Come on. Oh, maybe I unplugged the wrong one over there. But anywho, that guys, that is how you do it. Let me just bring bring you back so you can see my ugly face. So guys, that is how you take. Well. It's an Amazon one, okay? And you're not going to be able to do this through GitHub. If you can do it through GitHub, draw me a link down below. But I guarantee you, you're not going to be able to find a bin file in GitHub to get this to work. Unless somebody takes my bin file and submits it to GitHub, this is the only place you're going to be able to get one of these to work. All right? So anyways, guys, if you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, subscribe, ring the dinga dinga dingy, and... Uh, if I uh, helped you out, little donation goes a long way also. I mean, because, I mean, you're guaranteed to make $58,000 on just one of these. Come on, guys. Give me a little bit. Thanks for watching. Question, comments, um, and all the links will be down below. Hey, guys. I just wanted to do a little amendment to this video. Um, there's, there's one very critical part I want to show you. When you upload... Um, the bin file, you're going to make sure that the drive letter is correct. So let me go over here. i got to bring this down. Uh, matter of fact, let me just refresh this. Should be, yeah, see, this is the one session. This is the one that we just did. It's at 77 kilohashes. 77 kilohashes a second, I believe that's what that says. But this is the minor that we just set up. But anyways, let me go to, um, let me go to my D drive. Now, when you, when you change your COM port right here, so say that you uploaded the file to your C drive, you would, you would change this to C drive, okay? And if you uploaded the bin file that I'm going to give you to the C drive, this is the other change you got to make down here. You got to make this, you know, C drive. Okay, and of course you would have to change this to C drive. All right, so just remember these this change here. So basically you got to change your COM port and make sure that your path is correct to your bin file. So if you download it to C drive, you change this to C. If it's a D drive, you can leave it alone. If it's B drive, of course, change this to B. All right. And uh, that's just a, a little excerpt I, I just wanted to show you guys. All right. So, again, you're going to be uploading two files. You're going to be uploading how to flash ESP32. And you're going to be uploading the ESP NerdMiner 2.1.bin. All right. Those are the two files that you want to upload. All right. With that, guys, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Ring the bell. Send me some money. I can always like a little spending pocket change, um, and I hope this video helped you guys out.